Hi everyone, and welcome to English for You. I'm Pat, and I'm Elsie. Now, Elsie, this month we've already talked about、uh, like self-service checkouts、mm. and talking checkouts. Right. Now we're going even deeper into the world of computers and automatic things, and that、oh. we're talking about a robot. Have you ever interacted with a robot? Um. Okay. So I've used different kinds of machines in my life,、mm-hmm. but. To be honest, I've never interacted with the robot. Okay, I'm trying to think of the last time I went to Japan. It was about four years ago,、uh-huh. I think. At this point, I'm sure at some point there was a robot somewhere、mm-hmm. that I had to talk to or something. But it was more like for fun. You could have gone so around in the、it. amusement park or something. Yeah, or I think they have them in shops and stuff. Sometimes you can do, you do stuff with them in a shop, but it wasn't like a serious robot that really looked like a human kind of thing. It was okay. You're obviously a robot. This is just for a bit of fun.、Oh. And, Kind of like you go to Japan, you expect it. You know, it's for、so、the tourists. Just like a talking machine or something. Something like、mm. that. So it, again, it's one of those things. I think if people go to Japan these days, they expect to see some kind of robot somewhere、mm-hmm. doing something. It's part of the experience. But here we're talking about a robot that has human expressions. Right. So <laughs> this is something a little bit more like out of a, a movie, a sci-fi、yeah. story, something like that. Let's learn more about it by reading through day one of this article. Reading. Meet Amica, a robot with human expressions. When she first wakes up, she looks confused, as though she's not sure where she is. She stretches her arms and palms, and she finds that they can move freely. She raises her eyebrows and turns her head. When she sees you, her mouth opens and she looks surprised. Finally, she shows a smile with a bit of shyness. And she reaches out her hand to greet you. Say hello to Amica. Amica is a humanoid robot with a human appearance and lifelike expressions. She has a wide range of built-in sensors. These include cameras and microphones. Her many motors let her accurately display a range of expressions and human movements. She is able to notice people's faces and speech. She is programmed to make eye contact with people. Amica was made to be a platform for artificial intelligence (AI). She was developed by Engineered Arts, a UK humanoid robot designer and manufacturer. The company has over 15 years of experience in humanoid robot development. So our article starting off by describing something, and you'll have to bear with us because at the start we're not quite sure who she is and what's going on, but you'll see where we're going with it. The article starts and says, "When she first wakes up, she looks confused, as though she's not sure where she is." Now, in that first sentence, we use the phrase "as though." It's used to make a comparison and has the same meaning as "as if," and we often use it to make a comparison with something that's not really happening, but to compare a situation people are unfamiliar with to one that we are familiar with, in order to help us understand it. As though 加上子句代表的是好像似乎，我们也可以用 as if 来说。So for example, they looked at me as though I was a total stranger. 他们看着我好像完全不认识我的样子。Right, but of course they do know you. You're、yes. not a stranger, but they're、right. looking at you in a way、mm. like they would if you were a stranger. So it's a comparison between the real and the slightly unreal. 是的，是一个比喻的用法。So we carry on with this description of what she is doing. We're not quite sure who she is yet, but we'll get there. We see she stretches her arms and palms, and she finds that they can move freely. So a palm is this part. It's the flat inside part of your hand. 
So we could say humans have hairs on the backs of our hands, but not on our palms. Palm 代表的是掌心、手掌。So here, she sounds like a real person. Exactly.、Mm. Well, she's she's waking up. She's、yeah. checking her hands. We next see she raises her eyebrows、mm, and turns her head.、Mm. Let's explain this by looking at the word eyebrow. So when we think about the eyebrow, we usually think of the hair that's just above our eyes here. Those are our eyebrows. It could also mean the skin and the muscles above our eyes, but generally we're talking about the hair. And we can kind of move the muscles to make our eyebrows go up, go down, raise one, raise the other, and so on. Here's an example, which is quite common to a lot of people. Rachel used makeup to make her eyebrows look longer and darker. Eyebrow 代表就是眉毛，所以这里啊，我们的主角 she wakes up and she stretches her arms and palms, and、hmm. she raises her eyebrows. Yeah, just kind of seeing if they can move, move her face around. When she sees you, so the person looking at、mm-hmm. whoever this is, her mouth opens and she looks surprised. 当她看到你的时候，嘴巴会张开，然后看起来很惊讶。Oh, and then the article says finally she shows a smile with a bit of shyness, and she reaches out her hand to greet you. Okay, sound kind of like a normal person would、hmm. do. It says she smiles with a bit of shyness. A bit of something means a small amount of something, a little shyness, a small amount of shyness. She's not super shy. She's just giving you a slightly smi- shy smile. A bit of something 代表是一点点。那 of 后面呢，我们要加上名词 shyness, shyness. So for example, he lost his he lost a bit of weight after quitting fried food. A bit of weight 那就是一点点的重量。Right. So, what is going on here? Who is this she? What is she doing? Why is she doing it in this kind of very slow way? Let's get on with the article and really introduce the subject. Say hello to Amica. Okay. So she is Amica.、Mm-hmm. So who is this person? The article says Amica is a humanoid robot with a human appearance and lifelike expressions. Okay, we use the word humanoid to mean with a human shape. A lot of robots won't have a, sh- a human shape at all. They'll be square. They'll be round. They'll be like the cleaners, the vacuum、uh-huh. cleaners. A humanoid robot, if it has two arms, two legs, and kind of a human shape, that is humanoid. 所以这个形容词啊，代表的是具有人类形状的、类人的，看起来是人的。Amika has a human experience, Ex- appearance, appearance、yeah. and lifelike expressions. Expression、mm. 代表的是表情、神色。Right, and these are lifelike. If something is lifelike, it looks like something from real life. It doesn't look like a cartoon, a kid's drawing, a computer image. If something is lifelike, you look at it and go, "Wow, that looks real." So when we see the word "like," it's L-I-K-E, like. 组成的字的时候啊，我们会把它解释为像点点点的。所以这边啊 ，lifelike 那就是逼真的、栩栩如生的。同类的字还有像是 childlike， 那就是像孩子一般的 ；godlike 那就是像神一般的。Okay, so well, let's learn more about Amica. We see she has a wide range of built-in senses. A wide range means she's got lots of different ones.、Mm-hmm. They do different things. They're built in, which means they're part of this robot's body. They've been put into her as she was made, and they are sensors. A sensor is part of a computer or robot or machine that senses something. It detects something. Think about those lights, which only come on when someone moves nearby. They have a sensor for movement. Other things could have sensors for a smell, for light. It's basically a robot's version of eyes, nose, and ears that sense things and give our brains messages. Sensor 指的是感测器。那这边还用一个形容词来修饰它。Built in 代表就是内建的，它有内建的感测器。So these include. 
cameras and microphones. Of course, a camera is going to give her sight and pictures and images. A microphone, well, this is an electronic device that takes a sound and turns it into an electronic signal that can be recorded, it can be made louder, it can be transmitted somewhere else. We're wearing microphones now, so our voices get turned into signals on the video that will come out as sound for you to listen to. We also think about microphones as the things you hold in a KTV. Hand me the microphone, you might say. It's time to sing a song. Microphone 指的就是麦克风啦。So Emma has a microphone to talk to you, and she has a camera to see you. Yeah, the microphone will also pick up sounds, so she can hear you.、Mm. So that's that's how she gets her information. But how does she give out things? The article says her many motors let her accurately display or show a range of expressions and human movements. So she's got sensors to get information, and she's got motors to move. A motor is a part of a machine that produces some kind of movement. So just as humans have muscles that pull to get us to move, a machine will have motors to make her arms, legs, bits of her face move. For example, you could say this boat has a motor, so we don't need to row it ourselves. Motor 指的是引擎马达，所以我们的 Emma 卡她她有这些 motors， 让她可以移动。今天的 language in focus 要讲到的是实义动词的用法。那句型是什么呢？主词出来之后啊，有三个实义动词可以让你选，有 let、make 或是 have， 加上受词之后，必须要加上的是一个原形动词哦。那不同的实义动词有不同的意义存在，像是第一个 let， 它表示的是允许。For example, Maggie's mom lets her watch TV after dinner. 代表 Maggie 的妈妈允许她，让她在晚饭后看电视。那第二个 make 通常呢是带有使点点点或是命令、迫使的意思。像是呢 ，Her sister made her wash all the clothes. 代表她的姐姐命令她洗所有的衣服。但是有的时候啊 ，make 它并没有迫使的意味在哦，而可以解读为。主词使受词处于某种状态，或是使点点点变成的意思，像是啊 ，I didn't mean to make you cry。我不是有意要把你弄哭的。再来第三个 ，have， 它有要求、交付的意义在。For example， Kelly had the waiter clean her table before she sat down。代表 Kelly 要求服务生在她坐下前把桌面清干净，她去要求服务生做这件事情。那另外还有一个实义动词是 get。Get 这个实义动词的意义啊，是说服或是叫某人去做某件事情，但是句型不太一样哦。主词加上 get 以及一个受词之后，后面必须要接上 to 以及一个原形动词。For example, you need to get him to start working out. 你需要叫他开始健身。So these motors let Amica produce human expressions、mm-hmm. and movements accurately. If something is done accurately, it is done with a great deal of accuracy. Everything is correct. All the details are right. If you do something accurately, you've got all of those details right. Everything is done properly. For example, Tony has a great memory. If you show him some writing. He can remember every word and write it all down accurately with no mistakes. Several hours later, accurately 这个副词啊，代表是准确的、正确的。So Emma can accurately display a range of expressions and human movements. A range of 这个片语代表的是一系列的、各种的。Yeah, she can look happy, sad. She can open her mouth like she's surprised. She can put out her hand so you you can、mm-hmm. shake it. We see in the article she is able to notice people's faces and speech. Speech 代表的是口语、言语，所以她也可以侦测人脸和说话的内容。Mm-hmm. And then the article says she's programmed to make eye contact with people. Right. If you're programmed to do something, then this is we use this to talk about a machine or a computer. It's part of the machine's program. It's instructions and functions that are put into the machine when it's created. So what it means is this robot. It won't just kind of listen to you and talk off that way. It'll look you in the eyes like a real person would do. 
program 在这边当做动词用哦，意思是呢为点点点设计或是编写程式。那常见的搭配词是 something。Be programmed to do something, 也就是某物被设计、编写程式，可以做某事。那过去分词的话，记得要重复字尾 m 再加 ed。Okay, so what is Amica? She's a robot, but why do we have her? Let's find out more. The article says Amica was made to be a platform for artificial intelligence or AI. Artificial intelligence, mostly called AI for short. Is computer intelligence that's programmed and built in such a way that it keeps learning by itself and improving, so it does things better. Artificial intelligence 就是我们口语中常说的 AI， 人工智慧。那 artificial 这个形容词代表的是人工的 ，intelligence 这个名词则是智能智慧。那 platform 在这边的意思是呢，电脑系统的平台。So the idea was they've got this artificial intelligence,、mm-hmm. a brain that can keep learning. Let's put it in a robot body so that the robot can do more things as she learns. We see she was developed by Engineered Arts, a UK humanoid robot designer and manufacturer. Wow, this is from the UK. I assumed it was going to be Japanese, but Engineered Arts is a UK designer and manufacturer of robots. Let's look at the first of these words. So, a designer is a person or a company that designs things. They create what the things look like, create what the things do. They will build the first few models, run tests to make sure it works. They'll do all of that development work. Now, maybe somebody else will produce it in a factory, but the designers have to design it first. You could design a computer, design a new phone, figure out what it's going to do and how it will work, and that's the designing done. Here's another example. The designer of the dress took a lot of her ideas from the natural world. Designer 代表的是设计者、设计师。那 designer 有很多种，像是呢 ，a fashion designer， 那就是时装设计师。那还有 a software designer， 那就是软体设计师。还有像是室内设计，是 an interior designer。那再来呢？我们说到这家公司啊，它是一个专门设计类人机器人的公司。Right, but this company doesn't just design the robots; it manufactures them. It is a manufacturer. A manufacturer is a company or a factory that makes things. They've got the machines. They do all the building work. Sometimes they do this for other people. They don't necessarily design them themselves. They just say, "Give us the plans. We'll buy the materials and we'll make it." But in this case, the company is both designing and manufacturing. 是的，所以 Engineered Arts 这家公司同时也是一间类人机器人的制造商。Okay, we see that the company Engineered Arts has over fifteen years of experience in humanoid robot development. So that means for the last fifteen years they've been trying new things, building different kinds of、mm-hmm. robots, designing new ones, making them, figuring out, oh, this works. But this doesn't. We need to change this. This is great, but it's a problem to build lots of them. We need to figure out something else. And every time, just like Amica, they learn, they get better, they improve. Now we're going to learn more about Amica and what she can do and why she might be created tomorrow. But right now, it's time for today's for you chat question. For you chat. So today's chat question is: What do you think would be a good purpose for Amica? I think Amica can serve as、uh, maybe those engineers and AI engineers.、Mm-hmm. They can use Amica to learn more about machines. Okay.、Mm-hmm. And for them to develop a very A more advanced machine in the future. Okay, so、mm. she's kind of like the the next step in like the、yes. development or the evolution、right. of robots. I mean, I think one good purpose would be getting one problem with robots is humans really don't always want to interact with them, right?、Mm-hmm. They're like,、oh, it's a robot. I, what do I do? Is it scary? Is it 
is it going to do the things I want?、Mm-hmm. So maybe part of the idea is to just introduce these to younger people at a、oh, young age,、mm-hmm. so the kids grow up kind of like, yeah, robots are a thing. Robots are normal, and if you have one that can only do a few things. Then you could have them maybe in a school. You travel around the schools, letting kids learn about robots.、Mm-hmm. So it could be a teaching tool, that kind of thing.、Uh, it could. It depends what more she can do. Right. Maybe she can in the future help the elderly. Yeah. Right. That's a lot of people are、yeah. thinking that robots can do that sort of thing. Or take some jobs that people don't really want to do.、Mm-hmm. You know, the jobs that involve sitting and doing the same thing again and again, working、yeah. in checkouts, working、yeah. in stores, or in assembly line. Yeah,、mm-hmm. I mean, we have robot arms to do a lot of the kind of car making stuff. So maybe Amica can do something that involves a bit more face and hand movements, that sort of thing. Like in, you know, like when you you might have to call or talk to somebody. And just get some basic answers to go. Which way do I go? Amica could do that, like、mm-hmm. a direction guide. You could、mm-hmm. go. I want to get to this part of the museum and see this thing, or I need to go to this department in a hospital. Maybe how do can, I get there? Maybe she can be a Uber driver in the future too. Yeah, something <laughs> like that. So we're going to find out to more about some of the different ideas people have for Amica and what she could do. But that's all we've got time for, and we'll catch you again tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye. Vocabulary review. Palm. Henry didn't use the knife properly and cut his palm. Now he can't hold things with his hand. Eyebrow. Sabrina has blue eyes under her thin black eyebrows. Microphone. Not everyone in the crowd could hear Larry, so he used a microphone when he spoke. Motor. This boat has a motor, so it can easily travel around the lake. Accurately. Paula has a great ear for music. After she hears a song once, she can play it accurately. Designer. Sam works as a designer for AM Computer. He gives each machine a special look. 智慧小图解 Humanoid. Sensor. Artificial intelligence, AI. Manufacturer. Triple W.English.Cu.Net.Triple W.English.Cu.Net.